Last Friday, MLB The Show dropped a set 50 headliner, which quite possibly could be the juiciest headliner we've seen so far. It is a retro finest card, and it's pretty comparable to Jimmy Rollins. And here is that retro finest Barry Larkin card, just insane attributes. And the best thing about him is the headliner, you can get him for pretty cheap compared to Jimmy Rollins. So shout out to Showzone for doing this comparison between Barry Larkin and Jimmy Rollins. We have the true overall, the meta overall, and the cost. The biggest thing I want to take a look at is the cost for you guys. Barry Larkin's at 67,000 stubs, and Jimmy Rollins at 8.8 .8 million stubs. So for a minimal cost, you have a card very similar to Jimmy Rollins. As always with our headliner packs, we're going to go ahead and buy the 25k pack. I am 4 for 4 on the last 4 headliners i bought let's see if we can make it five for five here that was good mm, man that stinks all right we'll go ahead and rip open the other packs instead okay so we have five set headliner regular packs here let's see if we get lucky and can pull the headliner of barry larkin like i said we have been very blessed as of late to be pulling these headliner packs right off the rip but on this one, it doesn't look like it's going to be very good for us. We're going to see. We got one more pack here. Most likely, looks like we're going to buy Barry Larkin off the marketplace, which we're going to go ahead and do that really quick. All right. So we have our Barry Larkin debut. is going to be at shortstop for us, which means that we're moving Jimmy Rollins over to second base. He's out of position there, but he'll field perfectly fine over there. We're also going to be leading off with Barry Larkin in his debut. So we'll see uh, how Barry Larkin can fare against my opponent. Beautiful. Mike Messina, we got the 99 Mike Messina on the mound He's as out. well. Really like his stuff. Again, I wish he had that changeup, but I think we can get away with uh, not having that today against my opponent. Beautiful. Jimmy at second, making plays. Barry Larkin is leading off in his debut. Hopefully has a fantastic debut for us. I actually really liked Barry Larkin's 99 overall card last year. So I'm hoping... Three, two. That this Barry Larkin will be just as good. He's got better attributes, so it should be better, technically. Oh, my goodness, dude. That change up from Tom Glavin. Holy smokes, that slow. Oh, Chippy. Chippy. Chipper in the two spot has actually been really... Oh, we're going to stay at one. Holy hell. Chipper in the two spot has been very, very good, too. I really like him there. Andrew. Good swing, good swing, good swing. That should make it through there, too. Yes, that a boy. Angel McCutcheon should be able to get three here as well. We should be able to get to three. Look at Angel McCutcheon with a triple. Hey, getting Chipper Jones right there. We take a 1-0 lead already. Oh, goodness. Jimmy. Man, we just missed that pitch of Jimmy. Should be our second run, though. We got Angel McCutcheon trying to throw Angel McCutcheon. What a world we live in. 2-0. Gary, that was a perfect roll of my thumb right there. Obviously, we're just a little bit under that, but I actually really like that swing. Just, unfortunately, the PCI was way under it. I'm going to regret this. I already feel it. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? I'm going to regret it. The up high fastball works. Usually, that thing is hit a million freaking miles. I don't know why. Even when it's at their freaking head, it still gets crushed. Yes. Okay. Gary Sheffield to Gary Sheffield. One thing I've learned about Gary Sheffield, a lot of guys struggle hitting inside with him. So that's why I like try to hit him inside a lot of the time when I'm pitching against Gary Sheffield. We have also returned George Brett to the starting lineup. We have been using Albert Pujols and I freaking love Albert, but man, I just feel like not having George Brett in the lineup is just not good. He needs to be in the lineup. He's that good in the game. So I want to make sure we have him in here and let's see if we can uh, get a home run with him back in the lineup. Ugh, man. I was sitting inside with the sinker before that one. Oh. Not on that pitch, though. Unfortunately, that isn't out with George Brett. There it is. Jorge! I've said a lot about Jorge Posada. I feel like I don't need to say that much more about him. Just absolutely love the switch hitting ability and have him at the catcher spot. It's going to be really hard to see what uh, Joe Maurer, the retro Joe oh, Maurer, look like. Because the switch hitting ability from Jorge Posada, I feel like, gives him a little bit of a notch. Steve Finley, the quickest swing in MLB The Show, which means he is absolutely phenomenal in this game. Please, everybody, try Steve Finley. His swing is just so smooth, so quick. You're missing out if you're not using him. Barry? Oh, dude. 
That was a pitch with Barry Larkin we have to destroy. That needs to be off the flawless board over there. So Barry Larkin being our 50th headliner this year, I think, again, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong here. Please do in the comments down below if I am wrong. I think we only had 50 last year. Now, I could be wrong. Again, somebody please correct me if I am. But I think we only had 50 headliners last year, which at this point, it looks like they're going to continue to do it. So I'm really excited about that. And one thing I really like about it too right now as well is they're giving all these retro finest cards some absolutely juice attributes if you guys missed on friday there was a huge drop of the juicy packs juicy set two and there are some absolute goons in that pack and i think the most surprising one and this kind of shows me how retro finest can be such an op series of a card joe tory if you guys have not seen joe tory i think on the base of his card he has 120 contact on both sides and i think he's at the high 100 and teens on his power which to me just goes to show that they can make any card as juicy as possible now i don't know exactly how joe tori actually did that year obviously he must have been very good because he's got really good attributes but uh it kind of just leaves it open to kind of those lesser guys that in the legends in the past that really haven't gotten great cards i know we talked about ozzy smith the one legend of the franchise ozzy smith card that we got that has 99 power versus lefties which if you would ever told me in years past that ozzy smith would be getting a 99 power card i would say you're absolutely completely insane i know it's different than retro finest but i really like that this year they're letting us use these different legends that honestly in the past have kind of been useless they just haven't been very good uh you know just haven't been the best cards to use so it's really cool to finally see these retro finest cards come into action and the legend of the franchise cards come into action just to make sure that all these cards they haven't been able to use are being used now and they're absolutely insane Get through there, Chippy. Look at Chipper. It's a basic machine. I remember when they gave Tom Glavin, I think it was a signature series card. I really, really, really struggled against him. But this one doesn't have the cutter. I think that one had a cutter. And it just seems like this Tom Glavin hey, isn't as hard two. as the other one. I got to count one and two. Should get down, Andrew. Ooh, that was a good piece, too. Jimmy, get down, get down, get down, get down. There we go. We got runs on first and second. One down. Get Gary, Gary, Gary. Oh, oh, you gotta get there, gotta get there. I think Gary's gonna get there. That a boy, oh, Gary. Base is loaded. I'm feeling a grand slam here. I'm feeling a grand slam. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I'm gonna hit a grand slam here. Brother, base is loaded, one out, and I don't score a run. Sheesh. Ball was hit well. Okay, the backdoor cutter right there. Actually, that one really, really well. Let's see if we can get in a second. Okay. Got a double right there. Barry! Oh, Barry. I thought you were gonna get that one for me. Oh, get a third, get a third, get a third. Barry Larkin! Oh, I thought Barry Larkin got him out of third right there. Wow, we escaped. Just like he escaped my inning, I escaped his inning. Beautiful. Steve. Steve Finley again with his second home run on a pitch way outside the zone. He's that good, but folks. He is that good. Mike Mussina. Oh, my gosh. Mikey. Mike Mussina with a double. What is going on? That was a great PCI right there, too. He's going to quit. Mary Larkin was up next. Come on, dude. Oh, man. Barry Larkin was up next right there, too. That would be absolutely perfect to give it one more at bat. I feel like we've been doing this a lot, but we're going into the event because everybody keeps rage quitting on me. And uh, I want to get a good hey. debut with Barry Larkin. I don't think there's any better place to do it than at Laughing Mountain with a common pitcher either. There we go. The, the debut is all worth it. <laughs> Barry Larkin off a common pitcher, but still. We'll take a home run with Barry Larkin. Technically in his debut. Oh, Albert. Albert! That was a uh, really bad swing. Oh. Should not have swung at that pitch. Oh, goodness. We are just reaching very early. Okay, we always go one yeah. run right there, actually. That's not very good. Okay. Okay, we need a double play because I, I don't want to have an absolute shootout this game. 
brother. That's got to be so much for that's out of the zone. Oh, man. Pitching this year just has me in absolute shambles. I know it's a common pitcher, so I can't really be mad about it. But, man, that ball should have been so much for that's out of the zone. Good. Okay. Well, we do uh, give up the lead right there. But it makes for a nice comeback and hopefully means that Barry Luck will be another bat. There we go. Another strikeout with a common. Julio. One of the better common relief or common pitchers used in the Moonshot event. Jimmy. Oh, sheesh. What are we doing now? My goodness. Two very bad at bats. Get down, get down for me. Ugh. That was kind of a yucky PCI. But thank you, Roberto. I love you. Man. There's about three or three PCIs right there that could have been a lot different. We gotta be smashing those pitches. Okay. Yachty going to Pujols? Stay fair. That's fair? Foul no? Foul ball? Okay. All right, we'll go with that. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, the two crap hits are gonna are gonna are gonna hurt us here. They're going to hurt us. They're going to have two runs, unfortunately. That's how it goes sometimes. Throw him out of home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Man, Barry's not winning that play. That's tough. Double play, please. All right, let's make, let's make an amazing oh. comeback here. Come on. Let's get some crappy hits to lead the home runs. Come on, baby. Barry Larkin again. Barry. Barry. No, Barry, what the heck? Off the top of the wall with Barry Larkin, man. Almost had two home runs. Nope. Good. Ball All right, four. Chipper, come on, buddy. All right, Chip, come on, buddy. Chipper! That a boy, good swing. We should actually, I think we'll be able to score two right there. Look at Chipper. Pools with 61 speed getting through there. We're down by one. Runner on seconds. Let's score this run. Come on, Gary. No, Gary. Oh, man. That freaking stinks. We got, we got blooped to death leading to four runs. And then we couldn't see the ball. That's how it goes sometimes. Unfortunately, when you play a laughing mile at that point of the, at, the, at the day, you can't see the damn ball very well. But... Barry Lark with the home run and a double. Thank goodness we did something with him. At least it was the moonshot event. But that's all right. We'll take it there. Appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.